UN Watch, an NGO which scrutinizes the United Nations, has criticized Sweden's foreign minister, Margot Wallström, for not condemning Iran strongly enough over its violent response to protests in the country, protests that have left hundreds arrested and at least 21 killed. UN Watch has also criticised Sweden's lack of commitment to an emergency UN Security Council meeting on the situation in Iran, which the US called for two days ago. Hilal Noya is the executive director of UN Watch. The position of the Swedish foreign minister is troubling. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of people affected by what's going on. Iran is uh, directly implicated in events throughout the region. Neue claims Sweden is neglecting its duty to advocate for human rights. There's no question that, that what is happening now should be of urgent concern to all United Nations bodies, including the Security Council. We've had uh, sessions on, on many issues around the world that are similar in the past. And for someone who was just two weeks ago uh, outraged about an embassy move, and, er and, and voting at the Security Council and an emergency session of the General Assembly to condemn the United States for moving the embassy should suddenly now uh, oppose United Nations actions for uh, thousands of Iranian victims who have been arrested, beaten, tear gas, shot, is deeply troubling and is inconsistent with her commitment, and I would say Sweden's commitment, to be a moral conscience for the world. But in the statement to Radio Sweden, Margot Wallström's press secretary said that, quote, discussions are currently underway regarding whether the situation in Iran should be brought up in the UN Security Council, and if so, in what format. He insisted that Sweden's position is as yet undetermined. Speaking to Swedish media on Wednesday, Wallström defended the right of Iranians to protest. Wallström said, it's a worrying development and completely unacceptable to see so much violence aimed at protesters. The right to demonstrate and freedom of speech are fundamental human rights. Hilal Noya of UN Watch believes this statement didn't go far enough. It's not strong enough. It, it, it took some time for her to speak out. And, uh, and we, what, what we've seen are some statements... But we haven't seen moral outrage. We haven't seen uh, the, we haven't seen the, the, the vehemence and the urgency. There's there's, there's 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 a lack of urgency in her remarks. But Wallström's press secretary told Radio Sweden that Wallström was among the first foreign ministers to comment on the situation in Iran. And earlier this afternoon, Wallström took to Twitter to make an additional statement on the situation in Iran, insisting that Sweden supports democracy, human rights and the rule of law. The deaths, mass arrests and restrictions on the internet that have taken place in Iran are unacceptable, Wallström wrote on Twitter. A vote on whether to call a Security Council meeting is expected later today. Filan Chatterjee, Radio Sweden.